Good morning, guys. I'm still in my bathrobe today. Don't judge me, don't laugh at me. We're doing my morning and nighttime skincare routine. I've been a little stuffy, so ignore that. I've been on birth control and I started Spironolactone about a month ago. My skin has improved literally so much and I feel like the products I'm using have helped a ton too. I'm using Adapalene every other night. I will show you how I use that later, but I feel like just focusing on my skin barrier and hydration on top of Adapalene is really helping my scarring and hyperpigmentation as well. So let's get into what I do. We're gonna start, we're gonna start with morning. I'm gonna put my hair up really quick. With my routines, I really like to keep it simple. I don't want to do a 15 million step routine. I just kind of want what I need and that's about it. Don't laugh at me. I always look so funny when I do this. I got this headband on Yes Style and I love it because you can adjust it to your head and it actually keeps the water off. I think it was like $2. I'll try to link it down below if they still have it. First thing I do is wash my face with the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is one of my all time faves, not drying, not stripping, but it also cleans your face and leaves it feeling really smooth and refreshed. You do not have to wash your face in the morning. You could just rinse it off with water if you wanted to. But because I use vitamin C serum, I do prefer to cleanse my face. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then we'll get into the last other steps. Rinse my face off. Now I go in with the Dermatology Vitamin C, E, and Ferulic Acid Serum. Looks like this. I just put like, I don't know, six, seven-ish drops. And just put it on my face and neck. This feels kind of moisturizing, but I probably wouldn't wear it on its own. I just put sunscreen over it. I don't bother with a moisturizer in between because sunscreens are pretty much just moisturizers. I let this kind of dry on my face and then I'll go in with my sunscreens. Okay, my vitamin C serum's all dried and sunk in. Now I'm going to go in with my first base layer of sunscreen. I switch between sunscreens all the time. I have a drawer full. Love them, love trying them out. But one that I'm almost all the way through, I'm trying to be diligent about using a select fee to get rid of them before they go bad. This Omi Verdeo UV Moisture Gel. And I like this one a lot. I got mine on Yes Style. And I have like just a tiny bit left. We're gonna take like that. And this one's fine around my eyes. I really enjoy this one. Just put this on everywhere, and then I put a tinted sunscreen on over top. And in between my sunscreen layers, I do try to let them dry down a little bit. Because if you're mixing your sunscreens, whether it be in the palm of your hand, or just putting some on, not letting it dry down, and then just smearing more on top of it, it can affect how each sunscreen sets up and affect your overall SPF protection. The tinted sunscreen I've been loving lately, well, literally since I bought it. It's one of my favorites. Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 in the Universal Tint. I like this one. It's a combination sunscreen. I, I like it a little bit better than the physical one. I haven't used that one quite as much, but I'm almost at the end of this one. I'm trying to get my way through because I have bought more of them to use. So I have a new tinted moisturizer and the normal one. It's my favorite. They changed their packaging. That one's my last one of the old packaging. But the Broad Spectrum SPF 45, this is like my favorite just basic base layer of sunscreen ever pretty much. They're fragrance free and they're just really nice on the skin. I love this one under makeup as well. I wear it under my Bare Minerals when I wear that. And it's like the, t the slight tackiness of it really grips onto the minerals and adds extra coverage. And I don't know, it just looks better. So the normal one is like my favorite. These work really well over top of each other, but I do love this tinted one over other sunscreens. If I wear it by itself, pretty much any tinted sunscreen does this, but if I put on enough of a tinted sunscreen to get enough SPF just from the tinted sunscreen, I'm gonna have an orange ring around my face and it's gonna look weird. That's why I like to do a base layer and it's more cost effective because tinted sunscreens can get pretty pricey. I do like two pumps of it. Here's what the tint of this one looks like. And it's pretty sheer and thin. The tint on this one's kind of just enough to camouflage the whiteness of it from the zinc oxide that's in it. But you can see kind of what it looks like. If you have really dark skin, let me know if you've tried this and how it looks on you. 
because I'm very curious. I feel like it could work for a wide range of skin tones since it is pretty thin, but I'm not sure about super dark skin. I'm fine getting this one around my eyes, doesn't sting or burn. Okay, so there is the tinted one on. Just kind of camouflages a little bit of redness. I also have a discount code for these down below. I buy so much of it, I signed up for an affiliate link. So if you want to click that, I think it's like 20 or 25% off. But yeah, the, these are my favorites. And I've been trying out the vitamin C serum recently and I've been loving it too. I also got the Needless Serum to try out. I'm excited about that. The very last thing I do, you definitely don't have to do this. I recently got this and I am so excited about it. If you watch Dr. Dre, I know you've seen it and I know you've thought about getting it, but it's freaking expensive. So I put it off for like two years. They had their anniversary sale and I bought the three in one total eye. It's normally like $75 but they had 25% off, so I got it for 55, I think. So I thought, well, I'll try it, I'll try it. And I thought, well, maybe I won't like it. It's good. It's literally like a concealer and it brightens up my under eyes a lot and it's very hydrating and it doesn't crease, it doesn't smear. It's like a concealer that I've always wanted and it has SPF. Okay, and then I just go in with my mascara and I'll be ready for the day. But that's it for my morning skincare routine. Cleanse, vitamin C, and then whatever sunscreen I'm feeling that day. Or sunscreens. So I will see you guys later tonight and I'll show you how I use my Adapalene. I actually got the La Roche-Posay version this time. I always say different gel, but I need to start saying Adapalene. I'll show you guys how I use it tonight in just a second when I get back. Okay, I'm back from work. Time to get my nighttime skincare routine going. My nighttime skincare routine is really simple. Just a few more steps in the morning. And today's a dappling night, so I wanted to show you guys how I use that. First thing I'm gonna do is take this Albaline and get off all my mascara and water-resistant sunscreen. So I'm just gonna rub this on my face and take it off with a warm, wet washcloth. And then we're gonna double cleanse. I don't take much. A little bit goes such a long way. I feel like this really breaks down everything, but your skin is still really moisturized even after you wash it off and wash with a cleanser. Even with using a dappling, I haven't really experienced any dry patches yet. I'm taking my wet warm washcloth to wipe this off. Albaline does not have emulsifiers in it, so that means it's not going to just wipe off with water you actually need to physically remove it from your skin and then do a second cleanse after. Okay, so now that I've got everything gently wiped off, I go in with my Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I cleanse for about like 45 to 60 seconds. This is one of my favorites. I also really love my CeraVe Foaming, but this one seems a little less stripping than the CeraVe. I wouldn't classify CeraVe as stripping. It's still very gentle, but this one I would say is better for any skin type. And the CeraVe Foaming, I would say for like combo normal to oily. Now I rinse with warm water. Okay, so after I cleanse my face, I don't pat it dry. I leave the water on it to put moisturizer on. I'm using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is my tried and true moisturizer. I use this all the time. I put this one all around my eyes, everywhere, and it's just really nice. This one would work if you have oily skin, combo skin, normal skin, sensitive skin. Um, my acne prone skin, this is one of the only moisturizers that doesn't cause extra breakouts for me. I love this one a lot and it's very cost effective. I'm not putting any right here. I'm actually testing out a new moisturizer to see if I like it. It's the Dermatology Water Cream Moisturizer. This brand makes my favorite sunscreen, so I'm testing this moisturizer out to see if it's going to break me out. I'm trying to get better about patch testing stuff, so I'm just putting this one on this little patch of skin. I did this last night, so far so good. No irritation, redness, itching, nothing like that. Okay, so that's what we're looking like right now. I have this right here. I might put some benzoyl peroxide over the Adapalene on that. For the Adapalene, I let my face completely dry, so I wait about five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and put the Adapalene on. So my face is all dry. 
I'm about to put my Adapalene on, but first I'm going to do what Dr. Dre says and grease the orifices. So I take a little bit of Vaseline. You can use CeraVe healing ointment, whatever. Vaseline's just cheapest. I put this the corners of my eyes because you don't want the retinol spreading there. And I'll just go ahead and put this over like my eyelid and lashes in the creases of your nose. I don't know for sure if it's what caused it, but when I used retinoids previously, I feel like I got quite a few broken capillaries in my nose fold right here. But I would also put the retinoid in my nose fold thinking, oh, that'll get rid of all the blackheads. So I didn't help myself out there. You don't want retinoids to go right here. So you wanna put some Vaseline all around there. And then I put it on my lips and around my lips. I don't put my retinoid up here. I break out really bad and get quite a bit of irritation if I put it right at my mouth. Vaseline is everywhere that I don't want the retinoid to go, which is eyes, nose, mouth. This is the La Roche Posay one. This was just the one I saw at the pharmacy and my dermatologist said, try different now for some scarring since we're getting the actual acne under control. Maybe add in a different, like an Adapalene gel, La Roche Posay. I cannot talk. Different La Roche Posay, whichever one. She said the La Roche Posay might be a little bit gentler, so I thought I'll try this. I'm pretty sure they're almost exactly the same. I got a pea sized amount of this, and I'm just going to dot it on. And massage it in until it's dried. The first time that I ever used a Dapoline, I think I was like 15 years old. It was my first ever time to a dermatologist. And she told me to use Adapalene every night. And she said, but then if it gets kind of drying, then move to every other night. And use this benzoyl peroxide all over your face in the mornings. And within three days, my face was burnt and so sore for weeks. I had, I had big like orange scabby scars for weeks. And the scars were there for like months. It was so bad. So um, I was terrified of Adapalene for a long time, but so far just going really slow with it really does help. It really does make a difference. And that's a huge thing with retinoids. You want to just jump in, slather it all on, do it as frequently as you can so it'll work faster, but that's going to be so bad in the long run. Trust me, I've done it. Don't do it. So I'm taking it really slow this time, even though you just want to hurry and get it, get it over with and get good skin. You have to go slow with it, which is what I'm what I'm trying to do. And hopefully it'll start working in a few more weeks and we'll see some results. So that is all for my nighttime skincare routine using Adapalene. On the nights that I don't use Adapalene, I just stop at the moisturizer step. So I just leave this out. And if I have a bump that needs some spot treatment, I will put on the Zapzit Acne Spot Treatment. You can mix benzoyl peroxide and adapalene. I don't think you can mix benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin, but you can benzoyl peroxide and adapalene. So if I had this huge bump that I really wanted gone, you can mix benzoyl peroxide over the adapalene and put it on that spot. But these are already going away, so I'm not gonna risk any extra irritation. That's all I do. I keep it really simple. Even though I wanna try everything, I love trying skincare. I'm trying to keep it simple and not try 15 new things at one time and I'm trying to get better at patch testing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys really soon. Good night, I'm going to bed.